back, you know, after everything that you went through, what is it, and then be named a co-starter, what is, what is that feeling like for you right now to be back in the field and be able to help again? Well, yeah, it just feel good, you know, just being being able just to play the game that I love, uh, you know, just to contribute to the team. Uh, I look forward on forward on doing that. What was, your, what, what was your, the feeling you had when you saw that you were listed as a co-starter after everything you've been through? Was that like a moment of elation or just kind of like there's work to be done? Oh, yeah, that's just another step forward, you know. Uh, I don't really pay too too much mind of that, you know. Uh, I'm just control what I can control and make plays. You know, my number's called. Coaching staff praised what you did in the second scrimmage. What was good about it that day for you? And just, do you feel like your old self? Are you very different than your old self? Oh yeah, uh, the second scrimmage, I felt, you know, well, I mean, I feel, I feel good. I feel very good right now with myself, uh, confident. But the second scrimmage, you know, it was just like. Just, I was playing more faster, more physical, and just, you know, like you could see the confidence and my moves and stuff like that. So that, that went well. Do you feel like your game's different, though, than it was pre accident? Uh, I'd probably say the only thing's different uh, than my game right now. Uh, you know, I'm a little bigger, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Was there any point last year we kind of felt that you were going to be able to come back? I know you were working with the team, kind of getting practice in. Was there any point last year you kind of felt you were going to be back th last year? or? Uh, really last year, like my mindset, I really wasn't thinking about playing. I was just thinking about, you know, just getting better in practice, you know, just getting more comfortable running around, stuff like that. That was my main focus last year, I would say. What's the hardest part of the recovery for you? Uh, the hardest part, you know, uh, you know, when you get back, just really getting in, getting in shape, you know, like, you know, you running and stuff on the side, but like it's different, like when you 11 on 11, you know, plays, plays, plays. So. That's probably the hardest thing, just getting back in game shape. You have um, two big body receivers outside in Wilson and um, Coleman. How do you fit in with them in that offense when you guys yeah. are in the field? Oh, yeah, two two very good guys. Uh, you know, I feel like the whole receiver room is dynamic, so I feel like everybody going to be able to make plays and contribute. Did you feel like uh, like when you first came back, did you get did you feel like guys were uh, like being like like delicate with you at all? Like, or did you have to kind of tell them it's OK, like I'm good? Uh, I don't really, I wouldn't really say that, you know, uh, I, I know that like the whole team, they were very supportive, uh, the coaching staff, but uh, I mean, I was getting pushed uh, for sure, so I was getting to work in. You talk about the process last year, did you really start to feel comfortable in your leg again and going out there and just letting it pull loose? To be honest, uh, I really didn't feel comfortable until like close to spring. Uh, I mean, last year, like, we was in season. I mean, I felt like, you know how you get confidence, but I didn't feel like I was fully 100%. What's, the, what's been the mental process for you in terms of learning the playbook and, and the, playbook. the amount of time that you've been oh. able to practice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the playbook, like, while I was hurt, I was still, you know, being able to get in meetings. Uh, my coaches were still meeting on me with me uh, to go over the plays. So, like, I was ahead of the, uh, the game with the plays. It's just getting the reps, you know. That's it's, it's different to, uh, to go over the plays in a, in a film room and then when you get on the field. So just had to get the repetition down. What's your, um, going through your mind, you know, getting into game week, a year out since you last played football, you know, and you get to make your FSU debut finally. How excited is it? What's going through your mind right now? Oh, yeah, I'm very excited, very blessed. Uh, just taking it day by day, by day you know. Uh, but like I said, very honored and blessed to be able to be able to put on Garner and Gold finally. It's gonna hit you when you kind of hit the field, like that yeah, you finally back on the field after everything you've been through. Yeah, I think it's gonna hit me before the game. It's gonna hit me for sure. The whole the whole day that's going, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. How close did you get with the training staff during all of this? Oh, the training staff, I'm very close with them. Uh, uh, Alicia, Josh, uh, Tyler, uh, they they helped me tremendously, and I'm very grateful for them. Uh, so they played a big part too. Man. Good people. This year, you, were, you know, the coaches were able to work with you during the summer, a little bit, a few hours each week. Uh, did that help? Yeah, that, that helped uh, tremendously. Uh, you know, being we went through the little skills and drills. You know, you get time to go over the plays without a ball. So that helped a lot. And then you get to go seven on seven while the coaches leave. You know, getting time with the quarterbacks, doing one on ones, different stuff. So that helped. That helped a lot too. You've been here now for. I mean, almost two years or a year and a half, but Florida State fans still haven't really got to see you do what you can do. Like, how, how excited are you to, to show them, you know, who, you, who Winston Wright is? Right, like I said, I'm very blessed to, you know, be able to come back and, you know, I'm excited and I'm ready. I'm ready for it.
Just getting back to where you want to be physically and stuff. Do you think you've had like an improved connection with Jordan Travis? Oh right, yeah. Uh, like I said, yeah. Like in the summertime, like doing the skills and drills, like we would stay after. You know, uh, we would throw. We would throw probably like three times uh, out of five days out of the week. So we got a very, you know, good connection now. Uh, just being able to be on that time and on on routes and stuff like that. So. Is what this offense calls for much different than what you're used to uh, when you were at West Virginia? Uh. I mean, I would say it's similar, uh, but this offense, like, you gotta, you gotta really be thinking a lot. Uh, you know, you gotta really know your opponent, uh, route depth. Uh, you gotta be on time with the quarterback. So it's pretty different. Is, is returning kick something you would like to get back into doing, like you did before? Uh, yeah, I would like to get back to it, but I would say, like, you know, at a, at a in the middle of the season, I would like to, you know, get back to it. Like, I want to focus on receiving right now first.